This map comes with our Virginia textbook series. I asked them to look at both. They have noticed the Chesapeake Bay on the John Smith map. The Chesapeake Bay is very clear here on this map, although they can easily notice that there is a difference in orientation. The desk map orients more traditionally north is up, and on this one, up would be west and north would be to the right. They notice the Chesapeake, so they talk about the water, and they're able to notice all the tributaries that go off of the Chesapeake. So the words are the pouch and the little squiggles. What did you say these little squiggles are? Yeah, rivers. Okay. But he didn't just do the James River, right? Like here's the James River. Okay, here's the York River. He did a lot more than that, didn't he? He did these little ones right here, which don't even have any names. Why would he do that? Why would he put all these little squiggles on here? Okay, that's the question. Why did he think they were important? Because um, they were part of Virginia. True. Are they part of Virginia today still, probably? They are. They're still there, right? So how come we don't show them here, but we do show them here? John Smith thought they were important, right? Why? Why does he think they're important, and your textbook company doesn't think they're important? Because we don't talk about it now, and they used to talk about it there. Why? Why did they used to talk about rivers all the time? Because they never saw it, and then they saw it all the Maybe. They did have some rivers in England, though. Why would the colonists be so interested in rivers? We're not. We're not interested in rivers. Okay, water, fresh water is a good guess. Let's turn this over. There could be another possibility. Do you see all these other squiggly lines that we have on this map today? What are all these other squiggly lines that we have? <coughs> Roads. Does he have any of those same squiggly lines that we have? Okay, so we have squiggly lines that are important to us that he doesn't have. And he has squiggly lines that are important to him that we don't have. Okay, and what did they have? They had rivers. So, put it together. He put all that detail on his map. Why would he put all that detail about rivers on his map? That's your question. I want you guys to talk about it. I'm going to ask you that when we come back into the circle, okay? It's a really good point. Think about it. Why did he put all those rivers on the map? And the hint is, look at what we have, okay? And they notice that there are interesting pictures of Indians. They notice that there are a whole lot of different Indian names. Powhatan seems to hold a place of honor. The letters are bigger and there's some pictures of Powhatan. They notice all of the other names and that they are not names that they can easily pronounce, which we then figure out are not European names. They are able to, with a little bit of help, find Jamestown on the map. It's interesting to note that this map is oriented differently. North on this map is to the right, so it turns sideways, and you can see the Chesapeake Bay is front and center in this map, and we talk about why that happens.